Hey everyone, this is Z-Man signing in, coming at you with a non-gaming video. So today, I'm going to reapply the thermal paste on my GPU. The reasons why I decided to upload this video was because no one has done an upload on this. So, I thought maybe I should do an upload. And plus I thought it'd be fun since I'm majoring in PC support and me being a gamer. So... Let's get to it. Let's see, check, check, check. All right, there we go. Well, all right. So since this right here is like my first time of um, uh, getting my first time on opening a GPU, uh, you're just going to have to bear with me. So this is my first time. Now I've seen on YouTube videos that um, that I need to uh, carefully pry this open just ever so gently to make sure I do not um, damage the fan cable. So here goes something. All right. So I'm going to be extra careful. I don't want to get sloppy since this is my first time on, like I said before, my first time on, uh, on, <laughs> on opening a GPU. So here goes something. All right. It's a little bit on the left. I'm going to crack this safe open. Come on. Easy does it. Oh, I see the fan cable. I see it. I see it. I see it. Ah, oh, what does that have to be on top? Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. Easy does it. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> that is so cool. All right. Great, I can see the... I've never done this before in my life. And I got this um, this GPU from, uh, from eBay. And... Um, from eBay. And so... Yeah. And so I suspected that this one would be old, and so, yeah, I paid $53 for this, and so, I, th I think I see that the GPU is like, um, it's cracked. So, um, anyways. Alright, so now that I got myself some alcohol, I'm going to wipe the rest of this thermal paste off, and then I'm going to reapply it with some new thermal paste. Oh. 
Oh dang, I'm so sloppy. All right, here we go. This is it, this is it. All right. Yeah, Arctic MX-4. There we go. Which I could have gotten maybe MX-5, but <laughs> I decided to cheap out on this. So anyways, fast forward time. All right, great. And now to apply the thermal paste. There we go, the star of the show. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the, um, I like to use the dot method, the P method. Oh, great. Despite that this graphics card is old, uh, and uh, my gut is telling me that these thermal pastes are in good, I mean, the thermal pads are in good shape. So anyways, without any further ado, uh, I hope I can do this right. This is my second time applying thermal paste. Uh, my first time on a CPU, on my, on my CPU, and now this time I'm gonna do it on my GPU. All right, here goes something. Oh, oh, and there we go. Less is more. The dot method. Oh, there we go. I really hope that that'll be enough. I mean, uh, I really hope it doesn't squish out all the way. And uh, I mean, I feel like it's going to squish out all the way around. And um, yeah, I truly hope um, this is like enough. I mean, <laughs> that it won't short circuit. That's what I mean. Sorry. But anyways. Without any further ado, um, I'm going to close this up. Yeah, I'm nervous right now. That's why I'm stalling. I'm going to close this bad boy up, and then after that... Hmm, hold on. There we go. Hopefully I didn't short-circuit anything. But anyways, all right, let's close this up. Easy. Easy. Woo! So there you go, you guys. I've, um, I've reapplied the thermal paste on my, uh, on my GPU, and I think my GPU, I think it should, it might run cooler now. So anyways, like this video if, uh, if you liked what you see, and, uh, hopefully, I hope, I hope some, I hope you found this video helpful, if not informative. Thank you for watching. This is E-Man. Signing out.